Hey guys, Jeremy here with KISS Aquatic Systems. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Today's video, we're going to talk about early season pond plants. So for, for me, an early season pond plant is a plant that starts coming out fairly early in the spring or even the winter. So most of these plants I have in my koi pond here uh, that we're going to talk about today actually started throwing out leaves in March. So during the winter actually. So in this video, first I'm going to show you all of the early season plants I have in my koi pond and then speak a bit about why I am such a big fan of these kinds of plants. So we're at my koi pond now. It's uh, mid-April, nice sunny morning. As you can see, the, the trees are still pretty bare. Uh, the oaks really haven't started throwing out any leaves yet. Uh, a little bit from the maples. So it's still a lot sunnier here than it will be in a few months. So let's get started uh, on these pond plants. So we're gonna start on this pond going from right to left and we'll go through all of these plants I have here. So let's start here. These are our uh, water irises. These are yellow flag irises, uh, which are, are European plants. Uh, I live in the Northeastern United States, so these plants are actually invasive here. But if you can contain them in pots underwater, uh, they're not going to spread out of control. They're great and popular pond plants. And as you can see here, they are doing great. And they're really starting to put on some good growth very early in the year, uh, which I'm very happy about actually. So the one on the right I've had for probably about three years now. And uh, I, I'm hoping it's going to flower this year. It, it really looks like it's, it's growing quite quickly, which is nice. Now let's move on. Uh, let's move a bit to the left. These are just some... I don't even know what they are. They're some kind of native pond weed that I picked up a few years back. Uh, pretty soon they're going to start uh, throwing out leaves above the water. Right now all the leaves are below water. Uh, many of those leaves are going to break the surface, and there's going to be some nice white flowers later this year. This is a softer plant. Um, I'm not sure I would consider it to be koi safe, and my fish definitely uh, give this plant a, a serious beating uh, pretty much all the time. But it's such a hardy, fast-growing plant that it grows back. So, Also, this plant started coming up in March. Now we'll keep going to the left. Sorry, a bit wobbly. All right, these are my spatter dock. Uh, I have six pots of spatter dock here. These are also native plants, uh, very early season. They started throwing out leaves also in early March, actually, when this net was still very much on the pond. And uh, I think they're gonna flower this year. Uh, at least these two I have on the left. The flowers aren't that nice on the spatter dock, to be honest. They're these little yellow uh, circular flowers. Uh, but it's good to see that they're, that they're doing well and they're coming up early. Nice, sturdy, heavy-duty plant. Uh, if you're having trouble finding plants that are koi safe, spatter dock are probably pretty high up on the list. And lastly, let's move on and take a look at my water lily. To be honest, I forgot what kind of water lily I have here. Um, this is a hardy lily. It takes shade or partial shade. It's going to start throwing out some really nice uh, light pink to whitish flowers. I'll, I'll see three or four of those in a few months. And this one also started getting out of, uh, getting out of its winter rest early. So started seeing leaves in March. Now we have five lily pads already and I think there's three or four that are going to come up. So yeah, folks, these are the early season pond plants I have here. Uh, I'm a big fan of early season plants for your koi pond and three big reasons for this. Firstly, 
I tend to like to feed my koi a bit earlier in the season, a bit more aggressively than some other folks. Really two reasons I do this is A, my fish are usually hungry, and B, I, I do tend to get pretty good growth actually during some of the cooler months. So the, the downside of feeding your fish in cooler weather earlier in the spring is your filter is usually not fully up to speed yet. So having plants like these that uh, start to pop up and, and grow uh, early is great because plants help to suck up ammonia and take some pressure off your filter, uh, which obviously in the cold weather is less efficient. That's the first reason. Uh, second reason is, as you may have noticed, I am surrounded by big oak trees here. And in a month or two, this pond is going to be a lot more shaded. So having plants like these that uh, pop up and start growing really early is great because by May or June or July, when there's a lot less light here, these plants will already have a decent amount of leaves uh, and plenty of surface area for photosynthesis to take advantage of the slightly lower light conditions. So that's the second big reason. And lastly, I like these early season plants because to be honest, I don't love winter. Uh, I like it when it's warm out. I like plants, I like greenery. So having stuff in my pond that is green that pops up earlier in the year, uh, it just makes me happy. So thanks folks, that's all for now. Just wanted to do a, a quick update on the pond and talk a little bit about some of the plants I have growing here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and happy ponding.